Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Learner Points. In this video we are going to cover the solution of assignment which is related to the corporate finance spring 622 and further it is a part of semester spring 2023 which is held under the uh, examination system of British University. It has total marks 10 and it starts at uh, 26 May 2023. Without Reading all these uh, things to save time, I am just directly move to the question. Suppose you are a finance manager and management has given you responsibility for valuing different stocks. Stocks A paid a recent dividend of rupees 4.2, stock B paid rupees 3.5, while stock C paid rupees 5.5 respectively. However, company C, company C pays out everything as dividend. <coughs> no return. Retain any in case of stock C or company C. All the information further related to these uh, questions are given in this table. Recently paid dividend stock A, stock B, stock C, and their respective growth rate 5%, 7%, 0% because it pays whatever he, he whatever he earns it uh, given to the its stakeholders. Required return 10%, 9%, and 7%. What will be the value of the stock A now and in 4 years? Next coming 4 years. What will be the value of stock B after 5 years? What will be the value of stock C? And if the growth of stock B exceeds 10%, how does the golden model calculate the value of that stock? One marks. It is also called a constant growth model because uh, we assume that for next. 4 years in case of part A and in case of part B for the next 5 years the growth rate that are given remain uh, constant. So let's move to the solution that I have made in Excel sheet. So this is a uh, data given to us. I am going to be a uh, little bit. So, uh, Stock A part A1. Uh, now the value of the uh, V naught or P naught you can say that any symbol that you want to use you can use. For stock A now the value is 84. So after 4 years remember that this is the now value it means so usually the practice is that dividend is given at the end of the period. So we are going to assume that the stock A or company A will give the dividend to its stakeholder at the end of the each year so this is the now then d1 to d2 1 2 3 and 4 at the end of the d5 years and uh, we will get the <coughs> this value so we will move to the at the end of the d5 because it is already um, given so how did i will get this one look at this i 4.2 is the dividend given to now uh, in d1 at the end of the d1 period or t1 period you can say that so uh, next one the growth rate is uh, 1.5% is so formula is and dividend into <coughs> 1 plus g so here it is 5% uh, so uh, 4.2 into uh, 1 plus 0 0.05 parenthesis close i will use uh, f4 parenthesis uh, <coughs> or make it uh, scroll, this moment closing by applying the double uh, dollar signs and gives the alphabet of this uh, cell number. So, uh, by after that, I am going to drag it uh, to the required cell. So, we will get these values as you will see that. So, P4 means we are going to this is a uh, P4. I am I think uh, P4 is determined a little bit. Let me check this. Uh, we're going to be uh, 1.05 because uh, P4 ok this is ok so at this end we are going to be use this one and divided by the uh, G uh, R minus G this is also R uh, 0.10 minus 0.05 is equal to 0 0.05 divided by this 0 0.02.1 so this is the stock valuation after the 4 years now come to the part B stock after 5 years so 
this is a now one two three four and five so we will label it on um, stock valuation at uh, five p five but we will use the value of this so <coughs> So the same uh, formula we have used here. Two forty-five point four five. Sorry, you can use here again multiplying by this. Uh, hmm. So I will. I'm going to use one one zero. Let me check this. So I got this nine percent. Nine. So two sixty seven. So again, do this the same here. Seven. So now come to the part C where we are going to determine the value of stock C or B <coughs> C because there is no growth. Whatever he earns, he will distribute it among the stockholder or so simply divided by the uh, dividend rate of 0.5, 5.5 divided by the 0.07, we will get its value or uh, D by divided by G as uh, So D divided by R minus G as G is equal to zero. Part four. If growth rate exceed uh, quarter rate of return, then we cannot find the value of the stock as the denominator becomes negative and negative value has no meaning in economics and finance. You didn't uh, get anything and guess the price and guess the, you didn't get uh, purchase any product which has the price minus zero. Zero uh, or minus one, minus two, minus ten. <coughs> If you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum.